Tonight we're here with you at the premiere of your first official documentary. How yeah. emotional will things get tonight? This is possibly the most personal project of yours today. By far, yeah. by far. Uh, we spent a couple of years together and I just let my guard down and I was speaking quite frankly like, well, if you only had a limited amount of time on earth and you wanted to say things and you didn't really guard yourself and just let it go, that's pretty much what's on this. Do I have regrets? Hell yeah, I have regrets. What is healthier? To live under the illusion that you could have been great or actually have an opportunity to be great and then you blow it and you realize you're a failure. It's so profound and you get us thinking, you're gonna get audiences thinking. You speak openly about regret. You talk about the ongoing friction that you experienced with your father. You even describe to us a tumultuous time in your family's life just last year. You say, I had to almost lose it to respect it. Did you have any hesitations as to what you were gonna include in this documentary? No. Wow. It, well, because I just, I've seen a lot of documentaries and most of them talk about your body of work. Right. And this one here talks about why you are the way you are. Like who molded you, from what environment, and that this is what molds everyone. We don't ever escape our childhood. And certain things that are profound, they mark you and they mold you in the way you perceive life. And that's what this is about. Yeah. And speaking of children, you speak so sweetly about your children and of course your late son Sage and your daughters and living life through your children's eyes. So what have your children taught you? <laughs> Tell us, give us a piece. That I, <laughs> that I wasted too much time getting to know them. Uh, the thing is, every actor feels the hands of time crushing in on them that eventually it's all going to go away. It's going to dissipate. No one remains on top forever. There's a valley. And so you fight so hard to keep your career going or get that final, get that finite script that's going to define your career. But you do it at a great cost. And usually your family is the one that suffers this kind of forced abandonment. And then as your career begins to wane, you go, oh my God, I've lost the real movie, which is the movie of your life. Right. And, surrounding, and these are the characters that play the most profound roles in your life. That's going to be an aha moment for so many folks. And finally, sir, what do you hope is your legacy? Oh my God. Should we pull up a chair and have an exclusive sit down? I, right I'm going to say that's a profound question. And I'm trying to come up with a profound answer. You know, it's really easy to say, never give up, whatever. That's hard to do. And learn to deal with failure. That, that's the thing, because there's always a chance, always, for the comeback. So my legacy is all about the comeback. And that is well said, sir. And okay. I, like, I like seeing Schwarzenegger in this, too. Yes. Considering y'all were such competitors. Uh, the most yeah, competitive. Right? But now I understand the fella. Yeah. <laughs>